This Gilbert Arenas build is a menace on NBA 2K25. Now, as y'all can see, we got to be able to shoot the three ball just like him. But we also got to have the ability to get ourselves open and be able to dunk the ball with ease. And y'all know that we got to have that mid-range on him as well because he was a very good mid-range shooter. Green bean chicken wing. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make my Gilbert Arenas build in NBA 2K25. Now, before we get into the build, let me show you all the animations that I'm using in today's video. And I'm going to also give you all the jump shot that I'm using as well. I like this jump shot a lot. Now, of course, if you want to use a different visual cue, you can. But I feel like for this jump shot, this is the best one to use. Now, if y'all could do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notice to the channel so you can be notified when I post, I would really appreciate it. We own that grind of 20k subs, and let's also try to get 100 likes on today's video. Starting off with this build, you want to go with point guard. For the height, you want to go with 6'4". For the weight, you want to go with 215 pounds. And for the wingspan, we're going to go with a 6'9 wingspan. Now, for the finishing, we're going to start off with the close shot. We're going to put it all the way up to a 72. For the driving layup, we're going to put it all the way up to an 85 so we can get layup mix master on silver. And for the driving dunk, we're going to put it to an 87 so we can get contacts off two and posterizer on silver. And we're also going to get a 46 standing dunk so we can get the basic standing dunk animations, which is really good on a guard build. And we also get a 70 post control for that post fade phenom on silver. Now I'm about to show y'all a few clips of me finishing. As y'all can see, we can catch lobs with ease. That's not a problem at all. We can also go into fast break and get quick, easy dunks. This is a build to where you can actually finish all around. Look at this clip right here. I hit him with the post fade. Nobody's guarding me. Green bean chicken wing. It is way too easy to have this much versatility in finishing. We got a driving dunk stat. We have also a layup stat. And on top of that, we got post control. So realistically, if you want to post up another guard, you could. You know, if you have enough space, you can do that. And we got the standing dunks to also help us out in certain situations. Now, depending on your play style, if you're going for like backdoor cuts, things like that, because you'll definitely be able to get that standing dunk off or just a regular driving dunk animation. We get a lot of good dunk packages like John Morant, De'Aaron Fox, Anthony Edwards, just to name a few for y'all. Because I already know that y'all going to be like trying to figure out the best dunk packages. And I just gave y'all a couple that you can use on this build. This is a Gilbert Arenas build. So the finishing is going to be very all around and you're going to be able to do everything. And as far as layup packages, I recommend using Trey Young or Allen iverson in my opinion those are the best ones for me so far so yeah we're gonna go ahead and move on to the shooting for the mid-range we're gonna put it all the way up to an 83 now i know what y'all saying it's a little bit low but we also get a 92 three ball so we can get set shot specialists on gold dead eye on gold and we also get a 75 free throw so we can hit consistently from the free throw line now keep in mind that you can use your plus one to put that dead eye on hall of fame or that set shot specialist because that will help you shoot better in a lot of different situations so really just keep in mind that you should not have no problem with shooting the ball at all as far as the mid-range you're only going to have an 83 midi which is not low at all to be honest it's high enough to hit consistently but we do have that 92 three ball in order to make a lot of contested threes or just open threes in general, you'll have a higher chance. And if you have a very good jump shot, then you should not have no problem with making an open shot. Now, as y'all can see, we're shooting right over those. It's really easy on a 6'4", because I don't know, something about 6'4 builds just feels faster, you know what I'm saying? But look, I'm showing y'all these clips of me shooting mid-ranges. This play right here, we're taking the ball down the court. He overcommitted, I hit him with the step back, green bean chicken wing with the rhythm shooting. Hey, if you lock in on that rhythm shooting as well, you're going to be unstoppable. I'm still trying to get the feel of it. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not the greatest at the moment, but I'm still using a button and rhythm shooting. It's kind of hard to rhythm shoot off of dribbling, but, but I'm going to figure it out. And I know y'all would as well. Hey, 
it's going to be crazy when you get high spots as well because if you have your high spots then defenders is definitely going to have a hard time guarding you as far as when you're shooting that ball now moving on to the playmaker we're going to give ourselves an 87 pass accuracy he was definitely a good passer and he also gets gold diamond with that which can be plus one to hall of fame and we also get that 93 ball handle so we can get ankle assassin on gold and gold handles for days and we also get an 86 speed with ball now there's a lot of different things that you can plus one in this category if you want to plus one your ankle assassin you can if you want to plus one your dimer you can as well get that on hall of fame or if you want to plus one of your lightning launch you could get that on hall of fame as well me personally i don't think it's really that much of a difference but like i said in every other video and in this video as well it depends on your play style it really just determines how you play the game if you want to use this build as a two guard because he did play point guard and shooting guard position so if you want to be that two guard for the team then you could do that and just go with the hall of fame dimer but i recommend just using that plus one so that way you can get hall of fame ankle assassin which is going to allow you to break ankles and stun your opponents easier now having an 87 pass accuracy is going to allow you to make a lot of good passes and get them through tight spaces through the defense so really just keep in mind that you should have no problem with passing above we also have a 93 ball handle so we can get all the dribble move animations as a small guard so yeah but moving on to the defense and the rebound we're going to put our interior d to a 50 Five. yes a 55 not really gonna get no stops in the paint try to stay away from the paint to be honest and we're also gonna get a 75 perimeter defense and for this steal we actually get a pretty decent steal i did give him an 80 so we can get silver glove and silver interceptor and we also get a 61 block which is not going to do anything at all but if you are in the paint it could help with contests now we get a 30 offensive 36 defensive rebound and now we're going to move on to the physicals for the speed we're going to put it to an 85 for the agility we're going to go ahead and put it all the way up to a 77 so we can get gold slippery off ball and we also get a 65 strength yes that 65 strength is going to allow us to get silver strong handle and we're also going to get a 75 vertical so we can get our silver posterizer and here's the stats y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this gilbert arenas build here's all the takeovers that we get as well we get a lot of good takeovers like me personally i've been using fluid shooter and clinic so far hey those two right there is really tough i enjoy using them and here's the shades that we get james harden jalen suggs and terry rogier and you have built yourself a three level scoring playmaker not gonna lie i do like this build name a lot y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section but this is the end of the video and i just want to say that i appreciate all y'all for tuning in if you're new to the channel why don't you like comment subscribe we is on that grind at 20k subs and check out my most recent videos pop it up on the screen right here and amen i'm out